on Henry Ben Sports 84 back in the building. It's been a while. What do we have for today? Anthony Yadi has just got an impressive victory to capture the European WBO title as light heavyweight. He stopped his opponent, who was Richard Berangi, in the first round. This was a very impressive fight. I just finished watching the highlight. I couldn't watch the fight. I didn't really know what it, when the fight was coming up. Before I realized, uh, I saw people just people making review of the fight. So I had to just go go check out the highlights. Anthony Yade is looking like uh, the real deal. He's looking really impressive. This is so far the second fight I've watched. I've watched of him. I watched his last fight. But this one was it's even more impressive. His last fight he was really concentrating more on the body. He was he wasn't really connecting with the head much. But with this one, he went straight for the head. He went straight for the juggler. So I think he's improving as as he gets more fights. So it's looking like a really, really good prospect. Well, to, to really achieve anything in this division, he, he has to go through a lot of good fighters because it looks as if this is the division that has the, the most stocked fighters out of all the divisions. The light heavyweight division has a lot of good fighters and a lot of unbeaten fighters in this division who are very, very good. And a number of them are from Russia. I know of better BF and there's some, there was this other guy who scored a knockout. Recently, I've forgotten his name. I have a lot of fighters in this division who are very, very good. So the the matchups in this division are very, very juicy. Anthony Yade is right now getting himself in position to engage with all these tough, tough fighters. So the prospects of a matchup in this division in this division is very enticing and very, very juicy. Apart from the top fighters like Andre Ward and Stevenson and Kovalev, who is on his way out, there's a lot of good fighters, very very good fighters. From Farah is still in the mix, even though he's lost, he still has some miles left in his <laughs> in his system. We also have uh, Joe Smith and Barrera, who have a fight coming up this this week. So the the prospects of the prospective matchups in this division is very enticing. And I really can't wait to to see them all get in the mix. But Anthony Yade is looking really good out here. He looks really solid. He shows off himself and he gets the job done. He picks his punches very well and he knows every punch he throws, he seems to have a meaning behind it. He doesn't just waste punches. So he's looking like the real deal. You see how the future turns out for him. But at the moment, the sky is the limit. That is all I have for today. If you like my video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I make videos like this every other day. Thank you for your time. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.